Hi, friends. We're back. Hi, guys. <gasps> Look who's back. It's Petey the puppy. Uh-huh. Oh, oh, oh. oh, my goodness. He's excited. He's happy. Today, we're going to be talking all about emotions and how to handle those feelings. What do they look like? And what do you do about it? Oh, that's exciting, isn't it? Uh-huh. Well, what are we going to talk about first, Petey? Hmm, happy. Oh, he wants to talk about happy. I think that's a good idea. Do you want to talk about happy? So do I. Happy makes me feel good inside. So happy looks a lot of different ways. You can have a big smile. Yeah. Remember that? That's the sign for happy. Mm -hmm. So he's happy. Uh-huh. I got a smile. He does have a smile. And if you're smiling, your teeth are showing, your cheeks are all squished up, your eyes are all kind of squinty, he might be wiggling around in your seat. That might be excited because you can be happy. Like, you know, I feel happy. It's a sunny day. And, mm -hmm. and maybe I think and I get to go outside and play today. Mm -hmm. But if I'm excited, it could be because it's my birthday. Oh, oh. Well, it's not really my birthday, but we're going to pretend it is. So if it was my birthday, I'd be all excited. I'd be wiggling around in my seat. I'd be like, woohoo! Oh, yeah, that's a good expression. I might be going, yay! Woohoo! And I'd be clapping. Mm hmm. Yeah. What else might we do? We might be jumping. I, I, I might jump, maybe, if I was outside doing it safely. Mm hmm. Hmm. What else would I look like? A smile. I'd, I'd have a big smile on my face and I might talk real fast. Oh, yeah. I might be talking like, oh, my goodness, this is my birthday and I'm like super excited and I'm going to get presents and I'm going to see all my friends and I'm going to have a cake. Oh, wow. So if you're excited, you might talk real fast, too. Mm -hmm. What about, hmm. We need, we need some pictures. We need examples. What do you think? Yeah. Okay. Our first example is going to be from a song. Yeah? Mm-hmm. We're going to do happy and you know it. So sometimes when you're happy, you might <gasps> clap your hands. That's right. You might clap your hands if you're excited because you might be cheering. He's excited. So when you're really happy, when you're excited, you could clap your hands. You might also stomp your feet. That's right. You might stomp your feet. That's a good example. You might be kind of dancing around like you were talking about. Oh, yeah. What else might you do? Mm. Shout hooray. You might shout hooray. That's true. That's excited. Mm -hmm. I wonder what else might you do? Do you think you might pat your head? Maybe. Maybe you're so excited you're like, oh, so it could happen. It could happen. So we're going to do if you're happy and you know it. You ready? I am. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Clap your hands! If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet! If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, stop your feet! Good job! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray! If you're happy and you know it, pat your head, pat, pat! If you're happy and you know it, pat your head, pat, pat! If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show. And if you're happy and you know it, pat your head, pat, pat! If you're happy and you know it, do all four, clap, clap, stop, stop, shout!
shout hooray back your head. If you're happy and you know what to all for, clap, clap, stop your feet, shout hooray back your head. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all four. Clap, clap, stop your feet, shout hooray back your head. Whoa, did you do all of those? I bet you did. You were showing how excited you were. It is exciting. Ah, uh huh. Now, the next feeling we're going to talk about is sleepy. Sleepy? Yeah. Sometimes I feel sleepy if it's cloudy outside or I've been playing outside really hard. Uh huh. Like me, I do too. He does too. If you've been out running around playing hard there, Petey, uh huh. What happens? I get sleepy. He gets sleepy. You get tired. What does tired look like, Petey? Um, oh, it's just, yeah, you might rub your eyes. You might rub your head. You might scratch. You might go, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. You might yawn, ah. Uh -huh. And you might want to get cuddly. Oh, I like it. I like it, too. You know what's a song that makes me feel sleepy? Sometimes I like to sing it before I go to bed. What is it? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, because it's kind of got a sleepy, soft rhythm to it. Uh-huh. So let's sing Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star. Okay. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Say up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder what you are. Oh my goodness. Oh, and it just makes me feel sleepy. Me too. You know what else is a really cool thing to talk about when you're feeling sleepy? What? Well, I have a book that kind of talks about being sleepy. You do? Yeah. Let me see if I can find it. Oh. Miss Sherry's looking for it. I wonder what it is. Oh, here it is. It's our good night numbers. Oh, I like it. I like this book too. So come on down, my friends. And I will read good night numbers. Yeah. Cause they're going to bed. They're they're being sleepy. Remember, you can sleep during the day, too. Good night doesn't always have to be just for bedtime, but sometimes it is. Oh, okay. All right. Let me get the pages. It's a brand new storybook, and it's still a little sticky. All right. Are you ready? Okay. Good night, one four. Oh, good night, one spoon. Good night, bowl. I'll see you soon. He's all done eating. Good night to the bowl and the spoon. Yeah. Oh. It says, Good night, two hands. Good night, two feet. Good night, two ears. And small, and so small and neat. Oh. Look, they're washing everything up. I like it. Good night, Bubbles. <laughs> Good night, Bubbles. You're so silly. Ooh. Good night, Three Wheels. Oh. Good night, Three Cans. Good night, All Trucks and Pots and Pans. Oh, so they're putting them away. So... It, they're going good night. Yeah, putting them away is like going good night. 
to put in the toys and the pots and pans away. Oh, okay. Good night, Four Paws. Good night, Kitty Cat. Good night, Four Froggies on the bathroom mat. Oh, so they're cleaning up. They're getting ready for bed. They're not in bed, but they're getting ready with a bath. Yeah, they're getting all cleaned up. I like it. Ooh, good night, five points. Good night, little stars. Good night, five splashes. They go really far. Ooh, look at their where? Where are they at? They're in the bathtub getting clean now. Yeah, they are in the bathtub getting clean. Getting ready for rest. Getting ready for a nap or bedtime. Ooh. Good night, Six Snaps. Good night, Mr. Peach. Good night, Six Blocks with six sides each. Wow. So again, they're putting away their toys. They're saying good night to Mr. Peach stuffed animal. Uh -huh. And they're snapping up their pajamas. Oh, wow, because they're all clean from the bath. That's right. Ooh. wants to skip number seven. Help me, help me. Oh, oh no, we're stuck there, Petey. There we go, good job, Petey. Oh, thank you, that makes me happy. Oh, good night, seven days. Good night, whole week. Good night, seven teeth. So clean they squeak. So they scrubbed up their teeth. Uh-huh. And look, the mommy's happy and so is the little kid because they're smiling. Yeah, they're smiling because they're happy and they're clean. Yeah. So off to page eight now. Oh, good night, eight arms. Good night, tall vine. Good night, eight sides on the red stop sign. So what are they doing here? Oh, look, the, I see the mommy sleepy. Yeah, the mommy does look sleepy. Her eyes are getting closed. They're reading a bedtime story. Yeah, they're getting sleepy now. They are getting sleepy, good job. Oh, I wonder what the nine is. Oh, thanks for holding that. Good night, nine butterflies. Good night, nine bars. Good night to the moon and good and countless stars. So there they are. They're in their bed. The butterflies on their mobile. Yep, the bars on their bed. They're saying good night to everything. Oh, look, he's even got a little piggy stuffed animal friend. That's so nice. It's in his jammies, all warm. <gasps> oh getting sleepy. Ooh. Good night, ten fingers. Good night, ten toes. Good night to the world and everyone knows. <gasps> there they are, the kitty in the bed. Sleepy, sleepy. Everybody knows what? Numbers are around us like the really good friends. Good night to all the numbers. Good night and the end. Shh, that's what sleepy looks like. Shh, oh, even the kitties are sleepy and the doggies sleeping. Everybody's sleeping. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah, wow. So we weren't learned what sleepy looks like, didn't we, Petey? Uh-huh. Yeah. Who showed me sleepy? Go, oh, oh, sleepy. Oh. Wait a minute. It's not time to go to sleep. No, it's time to have fun. Hmm. I wonder what angry looks like. Oh, no. 
Yeah, I wonder what it looks like. Can you show me an angry face guy? Ah, ah, ah. Oh, he sounded angry. He grit his teeth. Ah. He was making sound. He was like, ah. get it angry. Angry can look like frustrated. You might be angry when you're frustrated. If you were putting together a puzzle or building a tall tower with blocks and it fell down, you might get angry. You're like, oh, it fell down. It was so high. I made it so tall. Urgh. Oh, no. Mm, what are we going to do when we get angry? We're going to think like Tucker the Turtle. That's right. We got to think like Tucker the Turtle. Remember our friend? He used to get angry. Uh-oh. But then he learned a new way. He did. I think we should read that story. I do, too. Go find it, Miss Sherry. Hmm. I wonder where our Tucker book went. I don't know. Where did it go? Hmm. I don't know. Uh-oh. The Tucker book is gone. Oh, no! Don't get angry. Ooh. Hmm. I'm all frustrated. I don't know where it went. Ah! Oh, my goodness. You know what else can make you frustrated? If somebody hurts you. Ooh, why don't we read a story about that? Okay. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Whose tail? Whose tail? You'd never know. Let's read it. I see a silly monkey. He's looking happy. He says, the cheeky monkey pulled the tail of the striped zebra. Oh my goodness, he's not happy. Look at his face, Miss Sherry. He does, he looks, he looks like he's in pain. He's hurting, he's, he might be going, ah, that's not good. Nope. The striped zebra pulled the tail of the prickly porcupine. Oh my goodness. Ouch. Mm -hmm. The prickly porcupine pulled the tail of the grizzly bear. Oh no, it's a bear, Miss Sherry. Ooh. He doesn't look happy either, guys. Uh-uh, he looks upset. The bear pulled the tail of the very tall giraffe. He doesn't look happy either. Look at his face, guys. He's upset. And then the very tall giraffe pulled the tail of the snappy <gasps> crocodile. Oh, no. He's really not happy. Look at his sharp teeth. He looks angry, guys. Mmm. The crocodile. The snappy crocodile pulled the tail of the very sleepy lion. Roar! Mm, He's not sleepy now. And the lion woke up with a great big roar. Oh, my goodness. So, sometimes... If you're angry, you might hurt somebody else. Is that a good thing to do, friends? Is that a safe thing to do? Uh-uh, no, it's not. No, it's not. You're right, Petey. When we're angry, we need to tuck it in and control that. It's so hard to do. It is hard to do. I know it's hard to do, Petey. But we can do it. Let's practice our Tucker, guys. Okay. So I'm playing with Petey, okay? And I I accidentally pull your ear. Oh, no. That, ow, 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 ow. That hurts, Miss Sherry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, I don't, I'm so mad, guys. Oh, she pulled my ear and I said, not a glad. And, or, let's let's remember our Tucker. Okay. Tuck it in. Mm -hmm. 
Tuck it all the way. Oh, good job. Good job. Tucking down your head. Okay. Now we're going to breathe deeply, guys. Breathe with me and Petey. Okay, come on. One, two, three. Oh, okay. Now we got to think of a solution. Miss Sherry was playing with Petey. Maybe I was just trying to brush his hair and I accidentally pulled his ear. Okay. Petey didn't hit back. No, I didn't. He didn't hit me. He he got mad. He got upset. He was in pain. He hurt. Who could Petey go to for help? He could look at me and say, what? Please stop. That's right. He could tell me, please stop pulling my ear. Uh-huh. What else could you do, Petey? Uh, I could walk away. That's right. He could walk away. And he could go, calm down. He could walk away and go calm down like Tucker. Mm-hmm. What else could you do? Say you were at school. Now what could we do, Petey? Uh, go get a teacher. We could go get a teacher. That's right. We could go over there and tell the teacher, say, you know, Miss Sherry hurt me. Uh-huh. And then the teacher could come over and say, Miss Sherry, Petey, what happened? Because you got to find out. And I would say, oh, I was just playing with him and, and I was petting him. And, and my fingers got stuck in his doggy hair and it pulled his ear by mistake. And then I could say, you know, Petey, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. Okay. So then we understand, right? We had a conversation. Got to talk it out. Mm -hmm. Talking is always better than getting angry and yelling when you may not know everything that's going on. Okay. What else could we do, Petey? Hmm. Let's see. Well, we said we could walk away. Uh -huh. We said we could breathe deeply like Tucker. Uh -huh. We could say, please stop. We could go get a teacher. Uh -huh. What else? We got one more thing that we could probably do. Um, get an adult. That's right. Say you're at home. Well, there's no teacher, right? Uh-uh. Well, who could you go to? You could go to mommy or daddy or an aunt and uncle. Uh -huh. Or maybe you have an older brother or sister that you could go to. Yeah. Yeah. I think those are good choices. Remember, choices. You always have choices how you're going to act. Okay, well, let's talk about something next. Let's talk about, ooh, let's talk about being scared. Scared? Yeah, there's lots of things that can make you scared, like Miss Sherry's scared of spiders. Oh, my goodness. Yep, if I see a spider, ah, I get scared, especially if it, if it surprises me. If I don't know it's going to be there, and then all of a sudden it's there, and I'm like, ah, it scares me. And then I have to shush it away. Okay, let's sing an itsy spider. Oh, you want to do itsy bitsy spider? Uh -huh. Okay, well, real quick, let's let's get itsy bitsy spider. I think that's a good one to do. Ooh. Spider. Uh-oh. Look around. There it is. All right. The good thing about the itsy bitsy spider is that he didn't give up. And we're not going to give up either. We're going to learn about our feelings and learn how to handle them. So, the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. But up came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yeah. So if I saw a spider, a big one, outside, I might be a little scared. But I know that the spider really isn't trying to hurt me. He's just doing his thing, catching bugs. Uh -huh. and I want him to catch the bugs. I don't want bugs. Neither do I. That's right. So spiders really are a good thing. I just get scared of them sometimes. Like sometimes you might get scared of... <sighs> I get thunder! No, that was just Miss Sherry pretending to be thunder. But you might get scared of the thunder. So let's read a quick book about 
being scared and being happy and all of that. Okay, bears on wheels. What? Yeah, bears on wheels. You'll see. So in the beginning, he's happy. One bear and one wheel. One bear on one wheel. They're happy. He's smiling. Uh-oh, doink. One bear on two bears on one wheel. Oh, no. He doesn't look happy right now. He looks a little nervous. Nervous. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh, doink. Three bears on one wheel, and then four bears on one wheel. Oh no, look at his face. He's not happy. No, he's not. The others are, they're smiling. He's not happy, he's on the bottom. Uh-oh, four bears on one wheel, and one bear on two wheels. He's happy for the moment. Oh my goodness, I wonder what's gonna happen. Ta-da! They jumped on the other guy. Look at his face, guys. Four on two wheels. That guy is not happy. He looks upset. But this guy's happy again. Yeah, he doesn't have all those bears on top of him. Now he's happy again. Yeah, he is happy again. A lot of feelings in this book. Uh-oh, one on one. Uh-oh, look at his face. He's going, oh, he's surprised. He's like, oh, my goodness. And three on three wheels. They're happy. They're singing a song. He's throwing flowers. But they're not looking where they're going. They're not being safe. Oh, no. Crash. Oh, no, none on four. Look, none of them are happy. Look, look how upset they are. See their faces? Ah, he's scared. They're all upset. They're going to get hurt because they're falling through the air. Ah, uh-oh. One on one again. He's happy. Uh-oh. Watch out for the guys in the tree. Yep, look at them. They're feeling sneaky. They think they're going to jump on it. Do you think it'll happen? <gasps> Oh no! Five on one. Oh no, look at these guys. They're like, ha 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 ha. That's not nice. Look at his face. He's upset. He is upset. He's like, oh no, they're so heavy. They're hurting me. Oh no. Five on one. Look, he's scared. He doesn't want to fall down. And five on none. Oh no. Don't jump off that building. That's not safe. Uh-uh. Oh, no. Ten on ten. Look at They're happy, Miss Sherry. But that guy on the bottom is not. Look at his face, guys. He is upset. But he's not yelling and screaming. He's trying to keep everybody even. He is. He's doing his best. I think he might be doing the tucker. Uh-oh. One bear on five wheels. Uh-oh, he's zooming. Zoom! Is that safe? Mm -mm. Watch out for those bears! Ah, look at his face. He's scared. <gasps> he's like, here comes this guy, this race car! Oh no! One on five, ten on one, uh-oh, and ten bears on ten wheels? That's crazy! It is crazy! Be careful! Crash! Look at those bears. They are flying everywhere, Miss Cherry. 21 on none. They're flying in the air. They're scared. They're gonna get owies. Oh no! Except for our one friend, Boink, who's back on his bike and he's happy again. Not those guys. Look at them. Oh my goodness. That's what happens when you're not thinking and you're not being safe. You gotta be looking at what you're doing. Be safe, like the bear. Mm-hmm. I like that. Wait, <coughs> whoa, what was that? I sneezed. Did that scare you? <gasps> Maybe, but it's okay. Everybody sneezes. Uh-huh. 
Well, I had a lot of fun today talking about feelings with you guys. I know, me too. And I hope you learned some things, what feelings look like and how they feel. And you can learn to stop and think like Tucker. Uh-huh. So we'll see each other next time. And we'll continue to talk about our feelings, okay?